Hello YouTube. This is a video reply to the to, to a one video of natural hypertrophy. Morning descent into mediocrity, shanties, plastic idol, and atheism dawn. Nestia. It's uh, almost one hour long, uh, and I don't. I'm not gonna reply to all the argument because I'm not. I'm not practically nothing about Nisque or nihilism. So I'm gonna reply only to the atheist um, criticism. Before starting, uh, I know that Nick H is not a uh, Christian. I know he's, he's open about his practices. Living is a live Christianity. It's not a preacher. It's a Catholic. It's not second second premise. Uh, I donate natural hypertrophy. I'm still subscribed to his channel. I'm still watching his video. It just uh, you don't need to idolize a, a person or a channel. You need to understand what you need and what you don't need. If a channel say something useful, use it for yourself. Try it. Then if the channel is not you don't appreciate what the channel said, make a comment, uh, make a video reply if you can. This kind of stuff. If you express an opinion, it's normal that some, ta some people will, uh, will disagree. It's normal. It's, a, it's, a, it's part of living a civil society, have a disagreement. So, uh, like I said, I, I will not uh, criticize the whole video because uh, it up very deep in, in uh, nihilism. He know more than me about this. Uh, for like for example the argument of ubermatch sobermatch uh, i don't i don't even know how to pronounce it there will be a lot of things to talk about like catching free is uh, is not is nihilism what the fuck no it's policy it's, it's ambientalism it's so uh, i will only concentrate uh, about eight years hey why do you believe in science and not in god i'll tell you well because science is correct science is the truth is it actually i believe uh, in science it's not a belief it's just not a belief. Why you believe you have a way white uh, dress? Why you have believe wh white t-shirt? Why I believe I have, I have a black t-shirt? It's not a belief. It's a truth. You can prove it. It's believe uh, for definition is believing something that uh, there are not. Uh, there are not prior to that. There are no proof there. For definition. You don't believe in science. You know that science is true, so you have, you have a system of trust. You trust in science because it, it can be proven. There are some people that are, they go on board, they follow the masses. So if everybody do say this is true, it's true. That's another argument. But you can't equiparate religion and science because they are not equiparable. But this is what. It, what not net eight do for, for the whole video? You make religion and science are the same thing, are overlapping. One is there is no distinction, there is no difference. Are the, the, the exact same thing. Moving on. I don't know. It's not even the question I'm going to answer today. The only thing I want you to know is that this is the reason why they follow it. Even if it were not to be true, they would still follow it. Why? Because they just went for the stronger god. What is the stronger god? It's the god that knows most. In battles of the gods, the god that is the most omnipotent is the one that is going to be victorious every single time. Because I like the I like the feeling that there is watching too much uh, record of Ragnarok. Uh, this is a record of Ragnarok spin spin off. Uh, instead of human fighting god, there are god fighting other gods, and would win and get m the more followers. This is this is really record for Ragnarok. I know he's, he's not thinking like that. This is just an example because uh, all in the video he cites uh, the the Illuminism, the Renaissance. Uh. Humans will only follow things that are vastly superior to them, and they will pick the most superior out of all of the options available, which explains again the prevalence of science in this modern age. It's not because so ancient Greece picked the Yahweh because Yahweh were most powerful than Zeus. men become, became smarter. Most people nowadays who love science don't understand the first thing about science. They only understand instinctively that this is the God to follow because the vast majority of people follow that God whether they actually want to believe it or not. This is nihilism, uh, Ubermans and Sabermans uh, in a nutshell. I am smart. I can get smart studying nihilism. The other people not. There are some people that are smart. There are some other people that are not smart. Perfect. 
Moving on to another argument that is another point. For example, again, science cannot explain the soul, and therefore because it. Science can't explain the soul. Science cannot explain demon. Science cannot explain angel. Science cannot explain the re reincarnation. Therefore, reincarnation is true. There are angels, there are demons. It's everything true. If you can prove it, it's true. This is mysticism. This is just. Uh, I, I can't agree with this. I am just too materialistic to to understand this, this argument. If I can't explain this magic, then it's magic. How the fuck can work? It's just. It cannot explain the soul. What does it say? That it doesn't exist. Why? It cannot accept that there are things outside of its understanding because. If I can't explain, if I can't prove that angel don't exist, uh, doesn't mean angel is X. It just did. If you are not, if you are not believing in reincarnation because your religion said so, you should not accept it in existence because you can't prove it. It just makes no sense. So, there is no proof that human conscience can live without the brain because the brain makes human conscience. It's like say that, that a candle can exist without, a flame of candle can exist without the candle. It needs more power. A computer can exist without the software. A software can exist without a material computer making it. And it can't exist a, so a computer made of nothing, living in the hater, because it's, it needs the base or the material base to exist. Therefore, there can be a soul, because there can be a mind, because soul is just a word that has no meaning, have ancient meaning that today in modern science that is not found. There is a mind. Science is just an extension of mankind, just like God is mostly a creation of the human spirit. It's the representation of what we wish existed out there so that we can actually explain the world around us. Science is... This is pretty, this pretty base. Religion is... The human spirit. It's the representation of what we wish existed out there so that we can actually explain the world around us. This is pretty base. We can find agreement in this disagreement. It's nice. Then uh, there is more uh, atheism... Uh, Snubbing uh, in the later in the video. Deep down, there is also fear of the unknown, which the religious man seeks to explain, while the atheist simply denies. And this is why I keep saying they create create a false uh, reply, a false answer. It's not uh, solving the problem. If the religious man of two thousand years ago s s explained three thousand years ago explained that. I don't know what is, is beyond the horizon. The heart must go go flat. Uh, the, sky, the the sun is just um, it's just a bowl of of of, of flame uh, trained by horse. Uh, this is not an answer. This is just uh, I don't know. So I make stuff up. Instead, the science uh, trying to understand it. There is no an answer yet. One day we'll discover. Oh, maybe not. There is not denying also that atheism is is religion but worse this is the the most tri thing that triggered me because um, this is just this is just a strong man argument instead of instead of form uh, a, a set up speaking about something specific just atheism generic atheism everybody is, is not it atheist no that would be not atheism anyway there is not, uh, it's not about speaking about humanism, that is very specific. It's not spe speaking about secularism. It's just speaking about atheism. Everybody that's not theist. That's very... Because at least with the religious man, there is that fear of the unknown that is present with every single human being. But religion tries to come up with answers. Atheists, if they cannot come up with an answer, via science, just deny it. And just say... An argument without proof can be, with, can be dismissed without proof. Simple. Natural hypertrophy in this video is where you have pink grass. It's not true, then you deny it. There is a, there are five souls in every people. It's not true. You can prove it, so it's true. Where are you going with this argument? With with this logic, with this my this type of if you think like this, where are you going? You're going anywhere. You can say anything, anytime, anywhere. And everybody should agree with you because they can't deny it. Unless, so, if, if, if they do, they are bad atheists, they are worse than religion, and that's it. No, it's not a thing. Like, life after death, not a thing. Why? Science cannot prove it. But again, do. Yes. 
science cannot prove it so because it, there are no there are no way it can it can happen again like I said before a, a software can exist without the hardware there can, there can there a mind can can't exist without the brain therefore the, the mind can't go outside the brain when the brain is die that's it how can Hello, therefore there, are, there is a reincarnation if you can't prove that there is happening, it's happening natural hypertrophy is the reincarnation of Napoleon you can prove it's not true it's true I say it I say it try the book that try the book that natural hypertrophy is the reincarnation of Napoleon you uh, allows you to actually grow your understanding of the world so if God cannot provide that vision it doesn't mean that the world that you cannot perceive doesn't exist because by this is make no sense that she said that because in the same video we talk about how illuminism allow us to understand the world allow how the science allow to explore the, the space and then you say things like this it's just there is no contradiction there is no how you can tell i'm not uh, really really good with english with with uh, improvising argument uh, there are more things that I don't like in this video, like, for example, he connect uh, nihilism with cut and trees uh, and uh, make a site, make, make cities with, uh, with less tree. That does not make no sense because uh, there is more complex, there is a policy, there, is, there was a generation of, of policemen that was of the elite. So, I will say uh, I conclude here. Again, I will not. Uh, I will keep uh, subscribed to this channel. I will keep watching this video. Right now, I'm doing giant set because for a month, for a month doing gi giant set because uh, it's a good idea. It's just that in this, I don't agree with his nihilism. Uh,